Mm, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode we have been attacked by a large force of Mughal troops. We have plenty of firepower, so we should be okay, but let's find out. We will defend their attack. So let's deploy... Probably going to want to put my guns in the line. Just to make sure I get that firepower advantage. They have mortars though, so I'm probably going to want to deploy back. If I'm going to play defensive, I need to deploy back. Ooh, the rain is not ideal. This terrain would be ideal, but again, it's all about those mortars. Deploy... Deploy two guns, two units of line. Two units, well, unit of guns. Two units of line. Backstop them against this cover, which I can put skirmishes in. Let's get two units of line. Maybe keep one gun team on this slightly higher ground to keep engaging the enemy. Let's deploy my t these two fusilier units in front of the guns so they can deploy stakes. We have one skirmish unit that's on the flank who will also deploy stakes in the woods. Keep my cavalry available. It's always good to have a healthy respect for mortars. My general needs to be back here too. Oh, I deployed the wrong sharpshooter unit. Okay. So you men deploy stakes. Are we out of range of their mortars? Where are they? Okay, they're advancing, so let's target them with my foot artillery. We've killed their general. Which my... How it's just to fire around shot. It's a mighty line of stakes. Combine all of them on the left flank. Spread my cavalry out. So this 12 pounder unit. Actually, no, how it's is. Switch to, switch to quick climb because we've got some interesting targets. Deploy a horse guard unit like so, ready to counter charge. You men reload. Okay, switch to round shot again. Yeah, all my artillery just engage the mortars at range. So here come the skirmishers. They they are charging. Well, they've changed their minds. They are now going to skirmishers. Form square. So they will they can have a really bad time from this unit firing into their flank. The officer's drawn his pistol, but he's decided he's not going to use it. No, he is just going to use his saber. Okay, don't worry about the camel gunners because they're going to hit our line. Howitzer units attack the enemy infantry concentrations. How's our mortar fire going? Not great. You're going to run into two sets of stakes if you charge. And that's going to be pretty ugly. Keep engaging. Again, because the rain, for whatever reason, makes it such that I cannot... Uh, <laughs> down doesn't work. Okay, I've not fully pushed up.
Okay, let's begin to be a bit more reasonable with my targets. Shrapnel shot, the camel gunners. Make sure this cavalry is out wide. Because the Felt Jaeger are asking to be. Felt Jaeger are asking to be uh, sent to flank around and destroy our enemies. Shrapnel shots actually misfiring a bit, so some good old quickline might be more relevant. Seek warriors on the flank. So let's get my cavalry in position ready to surround and destroy. These Hindu warriors have charged headlong into my formation, so they are in trouble. Okay, engage the musketeers and that unit of musketeers. Both on one flank, but I think it's going to be okay. Here comes the pikemen. Let's begin to move my cavalry forward because the enemy are advancing. Okay, run at speed. Push out because we're starting to see evidence of a bit of an enemy charge. So my gunners keep engaging the pikemen. The Sieg warriors are wavering. Definitely keep that attack pushing home. My cavalry charge on into this next engagement. You men push on into the musketeers. Get my infantry involved. The moment my gunners abandon the guns and begin engaging in combat. Just blast attack ground here. Where's my cuirassier? So you're firing to the backs of the enemy here. Got lots of wavering. Hopefully on this flank everything's okay. Kind of. Let's send my Felt Jaeger Sophia and my Grassier in against one unit of cavalry to overwhelm them. You men keep my cavalry on the right flank, keep pushing. Keep slaughtering them to hopefully shatter them. You're about to shatter that musketeer unit. Engage. You engage them. You engage them as well. Okay, where's my Felt Jaeger Sophia'd? Drive through into the enemy at range. Okay, this gun team engage the general's bodyguard. Probably with this gun team in support. Avoid the avoid the enemy elephants. Try gang up on the camel nomads as best we can. Charging the back of the kids Bashi musketeers there. They're being hit by quick lime. You're starting to. Some of my units are starting to get a bit blown, especially as the enemy recovers. Engage the mortars and try shatter them. Bring this cavalry unit back against the bowmen. Retarget my howitzers. These guys may be done for from the enemy fire. That's why I'm trying to save this cavalry, this heavy cavalry unit first. Let these guys buy time. Pull this cavalry unit back because they're just being wasted. Come on, they're bowmen. Slaughter them. 
Okay, friendly fire, quick climb, and it's sanctioned. There they go, but well, they all broke. Come on, break them. Okay, here they come. This cavalry needs to run. Here comes enemy camels, they're gonna try and bog us down for the two fangy to get involved. Run back to our lines. Keep clicking to make sure we do get there. Keep the quick climb going on the flank. Shrapnel shot's going to blast some holes in the enemy, and that soften them up somewhat. My cavalry force can rest. Canister shot the Kizobashi here. Now you men are in range. See you later, fellas. Your uniforms don't even match. Concentrate forward firepower. We can break that Kizobashi unit. We can fold the flank in quite nicely. A couple of elephants have died to our stakes. There we go, broken. Push up. Engage the enemy in the center. Well, you're standing up to this punishment quite well. Not well, when the next volley of quick climb comes in, you won't be. Keep on engaging. Broken. Let me try shrapnel from your from your direction. Quick climb kinda missed. Must admit that's the more enticing quick climb target, but let's Oop, there we go. Oh, there's some of their reinforcements coming in, I see. Okay, guns to the rear, guns to the rear. Actually engage, actually by going after the guns, the camel gunners were already trying to kill us. So that's kind of ideal. Because we're a bit vulnerable, we're not going to push up. Just keep the howitzers firing. Bring you guys back. You can switch to round shot and engage. Artillery in the rear. Uh, here's some more of the reinforcements coming in. So you men are going to be... Yeah, blast this unit of... Gizobashi Musketeers here. We've lost a good number of their men already, but it could always be more. Let's hit their full strength units. Here comes the camels. Right at this regiment, so let's. Oh no, they're retargeting. Don't remember the no yeah, the dervishes are the ones that will close distance. Switch that unit to canister shot. Ooh. 
blast a hole straight through the formation. Broken. Camel gunners are broken. Good hit. That's right, form square. That'll. Oh no, you're not forming square. Good. Here come the infantry. Indian infantry mercenaries plus Hindu musketeers. They're forming into nice, neat ranks. Oh, no, square is good, that'll help. You have to wonder if the rationale is they need firepower in so many directions. Is that the only way to achieve it? Okay, now this unit of Grossier go after the gunners. No one else is coming in. Engage the dervishes. Okay, let's send out the cavalry. Hold five artillery. Even they have chosen that moment to come back. More units have decided to come back. Fire at will. Round shot only. Bell Jaeger. Okay, in, in general, let's just withdraw. We haven't got to go mad at trying to kill the enemy. You're just going to go after their guns. But in classic AI style, they're all going to go quick. That's the weakest unit to go for. Go for them. See, you men push up and knock out their artillery they're going to chase my cavalry in which case let's just speed this up a little bit because they're going to run away from my battle line ah curious halt continue May as well do a bit of mopping up, such as it is. Actually, go for the Indian. Actually, no, go for this unit of dervishes. Actually, Kizilbashi are good to go for. Dervishes break quite easily. You're going after the mercenaries. You're going after some of these musketeers. Kill them! Kill them all! Got him. So this is the levy. Not normally so bothered about the levy, but it's it's a good number of kills, and it will help potentially rank up my general's experience. You go after both. Go after. Actually, no. Come over here. Come help the pathfinding. That's not going to help. They're going to escape. Nevertheless, it took a bit of we took a bit of a beating, but that is a full stack of Mughal troops, nearly defeated. Plus two supporting armies, hopefully are oh, not entirely destroyed. Now you're going to continue raiding. The rebels are going to continue causing problems for them there. Well, let's get popping. Right. Enemy raids to the south. You push up and secure the bridge. You don't have to do any fighting, just secure the bridge. Steam dried up. Actually, first of all, construction. Engineer school. Keep all the upgrades going. Got a gentleman there I don't really need to use. Because we're right at the end of our tech run. Global Trading Company. 
water powered cloth mill. Ceylon's upgrades. One army is finished. Coup to Gunner General. Ottokar Kaufmann. Let's create a bit of a range here. So, our cot is tempting to grab because we can grab it, but they'll be immediately attacked by this force unless we siege and attack our cot. Actually, no, let's go for it. Let's make sure we've not counted our chickens and we've got a front line that's reasonably well established. Actually, first of all, let's do fleet arrives. Okay, everything's okay up here in general. Go for Boston Harbour. And this fully fledged army. It's going to land up on the north as well. It's got a lot of fights this episode. Well, not this, not just this episode, this turn. Because you are going to attack them. You are going to attack them. You are going to attack them. That's all going to happen. Agent detected. So you've tried to break a steam-powered factory. Let's recombine or close these two armies together to provide some support. Because that's a large block of enemy troops heading our way. One more turn to you. You've got a bunch of units recruited, but go for another Indian mercenary unit just to mix it up. Herbert Tauber. Okay, let's continue advancing on a broad front. You are a bit exposed, so let's keep the front. Keep these guys connected. Keep advancing. Keep pushing and securing more territory. So down here in Nerun. Here's a question for you. Can you leave Nerun? You can. You can cover the bridge. These armies are pushing up. So Kolachi, yeah, you're already recruiting. Nerun, recruit a militia unit to occupy Kolachi. So until these two armies come up, we can't really do too much aggressive stuff in the south. You can probably attack them. We well, actually, let's take you here at the Great Fortress. Alexis Müller. Push up. You can advance. Let's repair all the buildings in Lahore. So you're at full strength. You're replenishing. Make sure everyone actually is replenishing their full amount, not a partial amount. You're replenishing. Okay, you guys are going to probably... So you might move west a bit just to fill in the gap between the river so they can't push up here and cross the bridge. But you guys need a turn of replenishment. There's nothing to really stop us, but I want these armies to be fully replenished before I push out. My agents are going to be getting into interesting positions to do stuff. These guys are very much waiting to see what they do. Okay, I think I just need... I, in this theatre, I think I just need a... Well, you could push forward and engage Amin Shafi. Because there's no one... Mm. But if I push forward, fight him, can these guys run around me and cause problems? Maybe. Okay, even though I just said I'm going to do all that fighting in the Americas, I'm tempted to hit and turn. So I want to see what more stuff happens in India. Because ultimately, India is the main threat. Oh, please attack Quebec. Oh, you're going after my lone, my lone uh, light galley. Bring them into the fleet if you like. 
How do you respond, Mughal Empire? They're marching more stacks to the front line. So this is kind of the reason why I didn't want to get too aggressive, because you've got plenty of stuff on the way. They're trying to run around us, as anticipated. You've redeployed to the north. They're going after some of my raiders. There's a first rate ship of the line there. Yeah, you can you can take my sixth sixth rate if you like. More rebels. Oh, yeah, they're garrisoning Ahmedabad because they see that as the next step on the road to my conquest. You're going to raid some palatial estates and that's okay. All the gentlemen are redeploying. Although I should have destroyed the university when I had the chance, but I did not do that. That's a lot of gentlemen. Well, I know they've got they're good scholars, I think, for the for the Mughal Empire. I don't like how all those troops hopped into port. The opportunity to intercept? Absolutely. Any chance for a bit of a a bit of smashing of the enemy? I mean, I say that. I just ignored a load of battles. Oh. But yeah, I'll end this episode... How about this? I'll end this episode with a fight in the Americas, so in the next episode we can tidy up all those, all that action up around. Uh, not Maine, New Brunswick. I forget. So, move all my other artillery out of the way, so I can deploy my heavy horse guard artillery. Just move them along. Probably bring you guys back a little bit, like so. This is a very elite army. Everyone else deploy. 24 pounders deploy on this slightly elevated ground to the rear. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Let's keep my heavy cavalry deployed here, ready to engage near the town, and my horse grenadiers and my cheval leger on the right, with my general. Let them engage freely, for now. You got a lot of guys on the left, but I got some Hohenzollern Jurassier plus an overwhelming right flank. Royal Indian Cavalry Guards are advancing. They may well charge. My guys are getting into position. So they will be fired upon. So they like my Fusiliers as a, as a target. Shrapnel shot. Bowen Zolan go for the camel nomads. Just don't let your squares be broken and you'll be fine. I don't know why you guys have decided to shift your deployment like that. You men were originally meant to go after the camels, but you were going after the skirmish cavalry for reasons. 
the enemy in this cauldron are going to be a bit knackered. Heavy horse grenadier guards probably like their chances against the camels. My general is in a bit of a dodgy position, but that's okay. See, this is part. Wait, what? This? Why? Why are they not engaging the bulk of the Kizobashi? In which case, then just run. Heavy artillery to the rear, engage the general's bodyguard. That cavalry has been shot to pieces because they elected to not. <sighs> I ran them back here. They elected to just screw up entirely their attack run. Howitzers switch to round shot and engage that unit of Kizilbashi cavalry. Artillery, foot artillery, engage the generals. Actually, no, you guys are against units that are a bit closer. Fire will off for you, just realised. Just slaughter them. The opportunity is there. Form square. Yeah, Curacier should win against the Camel Nomads because they're heavy cavalry. So then, Howitzer against the Lancers. It's Howitzer against the Kizil Bashi Musketeers. Make sure you're engaging different units. The lances are charging in, drop into squares. You can charge against these guys if you like, but they're sturdier. You've got marines and fusiliers to the south. Okay, knock out that Hindu warrior unit if you can. You're very close to the edge of the map, so you might not make it. Why the hell are you doing that? Why are you chasing after them single file? And now they're gone. Nice one, AI. You're getting me, General. The lances have broken. These horns all then chase down the Kizilbashi. How oh, it says all engaged. That unit of Kizilbashi. These units get out of square. Redeploy. You cease fire. To be honest, only bring a portion of our army up. These Kyosia are going to cut through some more of these camels and then they'll chase them down because they are camels, they are slow. There we go. Full artillery cease fire. It's everyone against the camel nomads, effectively. Okay, I'm going to speed up time because there's only one camel unit slowing us down. maybe go after the infantry instead that might be a tastier target actually that's the wrong unit entirely anyway so you men keep on oh three men left okay right keep going 
Oh yes, they've run, they've turned a different direction. They were so close to living, they decided they didn't want to live. There's one guy over here, who we got. There's a unit left. Okay, let's just knock out this unit first. That unit's very spread out, they're going to be hard to kill. This unit though is a lot more concentrated, but they still escaped. Gun them down, although they are definitely going to escape. Just keep going. Get as many as you can. I mean, they are going to escape, but still. We'll give them a good go. They're at 140. They're now down to 70-odd in the 60s now. So that's pretty good. Yeah, there they go. Now they're going to go. Got about 100 of them towards the end. That's not bad. Oh, they lost nearly their entire army. Back you go. Oh, they ran through my line. The scallywag. The rebels are continuing to rebel. Come on. Pleasure gardens. Sabotage, probably from this guy. And as I said, they are going to try and run around us. So let's just not let them. And bring up this reinforcing army to sit between them. New men pivot back. New men switch. If you go over here, and you go over there, you can engage this army and prevent them from pushing through the gap. That is the army we've already fought. Now my agent was detected, trying to kill their agents. Excellent. Let's go after this Stack of ships, stack. These few ships here. Whoa, that lost us. That one first rate cost us six first rate ships of the line. I don't believe it, Sonny Boy. So let's deploy some of our sixth. Go attack the enemy. Take the enemy harbours, you men replenish or repair. You men attack the last harbour they've got that isn't currently occupied. Let's keep on recruiting. Get rid of the dried up. Oh yeah, let's make sure we destroy the university here in India. So this is the reason why I wanted to replenish, is because I figured they may get up to no good and continue to push. Like, these guys have deployed to the north, these guys are gathering here, these armies are on the way. But now, you can put a maid about under siege. We'll, we will resolve that, but we've got some actual battles to fight first. Because now these two armies have finally made it to this area. Karsten Cray, attack Jaswan Singh. Just auto that. Because you men can cover the cover the river with a depleted army for sure. So you're now replenishing. Okay, so. So, so, so. Let's finish off the army that we've already fought. Sigismund Steinheil. Attack. Scheister Kachwaha. A couple more actions to fight. We may or may not take... We probably should take a Medabad. That's another, another concrete step on the road to uh, defeating the Mughals for good. But I must admit, my focus is still defeating the Mughals rather than... Oh... That's a terrain feature. My focus is on defeating the Mughals rather than invading America at the minute. I think that's 
if I put concerted effort into doing this, we can make some real progress. That's just an awkward terrain feature. So you men push up front. These men advance on the right. Spread the cavalry out because we are looking to destroy the enemy. Sigismund joins the push on the left. Let my artillery engage whomever they choose. My heavy cavalry are going to be... Ooh, okay, right. Bow Dragoons, take the... The bullet, the volley from the camel gunners. Or if that's just not forthcoming. Charge my cavalry in. Throw some Western European infantry in. Bring in Sigismund. You manage to get cut down by my infantry, either by volley fire or by bayonet. Yeah, they got lots of infantry deployed back defensively, which is a bit of a Slip up. Get my general's bodyguard out of here. Hohenzollern engage the Kizilbashi. It's your grenadiers. You like the scrap. Lancer guards go for the pikemen, Crossier go for the mercenaries. Yeah, that's close enough. Charge my general's bodyguard in to help against the Kizilbashi. If we can defeat the Kizilbashi before my general gets here, that'd be perfect. Lest I lose my general to some freak accident. <laughs> oh, God alive. Gotta love it. Say freak accident, he is in the middle of a battle, but I kind of figured that we may be able to survive against 40 odd infantry. But I suppose not. Sorry, Sigismund, we knew you well. Not well enough, it would appear. To be honest, all my artillery just stopped firing. Ooh, what cavalry did I grab there? You. Ooh, who's that? I just run you guys through a unit of Sikh warriors. I think I did. Push you men up to engage. The final cluster. All my artillery engage that Kizilbashi unit. You men pivot to engage. Hohen's on push up. Oh, great hits. Yeah, they're shattered immediately. Q 
Yorcier, go for the Camel Nomads. Just charge in, to be honest. Taking a lot of damage here. Much more than we need to if we're playing smart. But you know what? I'm in a mood to be bold. We got reinforcements. Well, not in this battle, but in the in the general vicinity, we have reinforcements. Kill that last experienced Seat Musketeer. The officer, no less. Excellent. There goes the Kizilbashi Musketeer unit. There goes the Camel Nomads. Swarm, swarm, swarm. So many dead. Nice. I wouldn't necessarily call it heroic, that was very much a battering ram approach. But it worked. Except for my general. Sigismund, no! Let's go to Curious Air Officer. Peter Hirsch. Another junior officer. Still, there wasn't Mr. Tauber. Experienced man about town. So this flank's generally secure. Apart from this action here. Well, I'm curious to see where they go. Because you've got... You'll have support from Mr. Edinburgh. And you'll have support from my, my colonial army. If you dig in. The south, you're secure. Okay, I think now is the time I deploy my surprise army. Well, there I can run around you. Demand the surrender of our cot. And my fleet can come back here and repair like they were originally doing. Great, the infrastructure. So, our cot is taken. Really, I want to dis... I want to... Disband cavalry and set two Indian mercenaries to recruit. Although, I want to, well, really, I want to disband the cavalry so I can fill it with more infantry and just act as a defensive garrison here at our cot. But that's a significant economic blow to them. To be honest, could I do the same here? I can't. I don't think I could um, demand surrender. Because some of these are an actual garrison. So let's take a Medabad. Just to get it under our control. Just to try and spur that economic collapse of the Mughal Empire. Just a bit more, a bit faster. Although I don't think Ahmedabad is particularly a bustling financial hub in the way that some of these territories in the south are. Very offensive battle plan. The enemy has mortars. I do not wish to die the mortars or lose men to mortars, if I really. Just keep everyone back. Engaging a lot of their, we're engaging, we're engaging their mortars almost exclusively. Maybe bring a Prishnek horse over onto one flank. Yeah, you've got a good charge off on the flank, but that's okay. The main thing, is you better form square as well. There, are these three. I'm never really that bothered about infantry charges. Are they a bit frustrating? Sure, but they're never decisive. Because look, even though they're Sipahi, broken by the, 
by squares and firepower of three units. And they're shattered because of it. Because I've got cavalry in reserve. So you men are engaging the bowmen. Quick life's going to cause trouble. But again, the main strategy against mortars is just to provide so many targets they can't ever really concentrate their firepower. You men want to form up and just open fire. Are you ready? Fire! Fold the flanks in on the enemy here. Even though fusiliers are not the ideal candidate. Push these three infantry units up. You meant to face off against the armed populace. You really were meant to charge them, but it doesn't look like it matters. Storm you men all against the pop armed populace. They're shattered, so that's fine. These Hindu warriors are going down. Artillery are wavering with a fire anyway. They've lost half of their guns. Get my artillery to engage the cavalry guards, my howitzers to engage the armed populace. I've been very, very lazy with these battles, I must admit, I apologise. Infantry form up. Now these hussars storm into the back of the armed populace, although they are heavily outnumbered. Go after the 8 inch mortars. Howitzers fire. Oh, they can't engage the Indian cavalry guards. Just a second. Right. Yeah, the bowmen are pushing up. So this infantry form a line against the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. To be honest, you may charge the bowmen. You're running the wrong way. Run my cavalry out of the way. Let my infantry have a good shot. Oh, are they charging? They're being engaged, that's for sure. They've lost eight cavalrymen. Their army is in tatters. Are they going to bre break? There they go. Artillery ceasefire. Nice. Very much a blunt object strategy today, it feels like. Well, I am slightly poorly. So let's get these buildings repaired. Right. 
replenish Sigismund, push forward, and go last thing that's a water powered cloth mill. I thought it was a university for a minute. Stop recruit sloops to occupy the port. Infrastructure wise, you're good. You get over here, start converting a medabad. Good. You may be pushed north to Udaipur. There's no one protecting it. Gottlieb Weingart. That's probably the kind of army that I'd want to send native army against. Mohammed Singh. Let's engage. Every army we squash, it always feels like another another few pop up. But I'm hoping attacking in the south will uh, cause them some serious, serious issues. So. Because we are fighting with, this is a weird hybrid map, because we're fighting with native troops, we're going to want to fight this a bit smarter than I've bought the rest, because the native troops have their limitations. I should really have brought more artillery. My militia and irregulars on one flank, the bulk of my cavalry on the left. Artillery. Ideally, I want something like this. We are going to run my infantry up because we, we, we are going to want them in position as quickly as possible. Potentially catastrophic decision by the enemy on their left, on their right flank, to abandon it. I mean, they got guys over here, but yeah, fine. The more it becomes possible, the more I think I want to do this. Make you guys push forward. Just set the guns up behind the lines entirely. Actually, no, you can fight 43 Kizobashi cavalry. Bring on my Chevre Leger for support. Good old fashioned infantry surround. That's what this deployment calls for. Maybe Kizobashi Cavalry are winning decisively. Can't be having that. Okay, right, you men. Abandoned plan. You men bide your time. Sorry, native African infantry. Bide your time till these guys can deploy stakes, then you retreat through the stakes. Cause the general cause the bodyguard to suffer significant casualties I think that's a plan all my cavalry's a little bit isolated right now see if I didn't have all that if I didn't have that massive advantage in firepower where are my guns unlimber have at it. They're all concentrated.
something like that. Yeah, they're massing in one area. First Bowman unit is hitting our line. There's my general. Let's bring him up here to witness this. Almost entirely focusing on that flank. If you guys can pull this off. Kudos. Focus all my artillery inside this square. No, 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 just form up. You got fireball on. Especially you, I don't want you to kill anyone. So, everyone, keep engaging that Kizobashi unit. Lots of routing over here. Okay, you men deploy against some of these enemy units especially the ones that are still quite strong to make sure they are shattered not just routing they're shattered after only losing 60 men This is quite a cataclysmic battle for the enemy. Make sure your fire will is off. Those units cease fire. Yeah, it's just, just let them let them have at it. We'll make sure. Just make sure fire wills off. Good. Doesn't really matter what we go after. It's an army almost entirely comprising of chaff. All destruction is good. Try and mop up the ones we're more realistically, realistically able to finish it off. These ones are spread out, so they're going to be tricky. Where's my general? Go after someone a bit more closed up, but ultimately they are all going to escape. Actually, you can all focus on that Kizobashi Musketeer unit. They're spread out, heading the right direction. You've got a good chance of killing them. Although well, they are spread out all over the shop. <laughs> Too late. Still, good victory with lots of death and destruction for the enemy there. Lost just over half. New men fall back. Okay, let's... The trouble is no one really lost a huge amount of units, did you? Disband one unit of Chevalier. Let's recruit 
a unit of company cavalry. Let's... Well, the native troops are not badly provisioned. I want to mix up some company cavalry, company infantry into this mix. So if I get rid of, or not get rid, I'll free up four slots at some point in the future. You are probably going to push forward and hit Sikandar Jang and his reinforcing army. Well, you might auto resolve that small engagement, although we've freed up a slot. Pick up a company infantry unit. Then I can take Mr. Muller, Alexis Muller, and slam south into Aman, Amin Shafi. Rely on our superior artillery and superior troops to blunt another significant enemy force. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the destruction of another Mughal army. See you, everyone.